Alright, so before y'all watch this video, I talked so highly of this shoe in this video, but these just came in because I got a couple pairs. These just came in from Foot Action and it is trash. What the hell? I don't know if y'all can see. I don't know if y'all can see because of the camera and stuff, but this is supposed to be suede or like a new book. This thing right here damn near looks leather. Like it came out, this this pair came out so bad. Like, like how the hell does, how do you ship out a shoe that like this, bro? Like this shit looked like it was actually used and, and beat up. Like it got scratches over here. Like it literally, like the whole entire shoe looks like it was, it's leather. Like the quality on this one, on this shoe, is trash trash not like the other one that i got from finish line i actually sold that one because i was going to keep this one i'm not keeping this this is terrible now i gotta try and return these to to finish line i mean to foot action because i would not even resell this to somebody bro i feel so bad reselling this to anybody like this is so terrible like how do y'all sell something that's this bad, bro. Like, how does this pass Nike? Like, come on, dog. Y'all gotta do better than that. $225 shoe, and it looks this bad? And it's trash, my dude. I'm so, yo, like, I'm so heated. I was gonna actually, like, I, when y'all see the video, I talk so highly of this shoe. Like, I really like this shoe. When I first seen it, loved it. But that was that one. That was the 10 and a half. This came in. And it's just terrible. Um, anyway, that's my little rant before y'all watch this video. Uh, come on, Nike, Full Locker. Y'all gotta, y'all gotta be better than that. Don't. Why the hell would y'all send this out? Now I got. I'm so annoyed. Now I gotta wait another like week before I get my money back, and then I gotta go try and buy this off somebody now. With the, with better quality. I, like I hope they're not all like this. I wish I'd never saw that my other size. I'm so upset. Anyways, we're gonna hop right into it. I'm not gonna take too long. Oops, y'all seen that. But uh, this is my first time seeing these. And let's see, let's see, let's see. This my, this literally my reaction. Okay, okay. Yeah. I like them. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, I didn't know. <sighs> y'all see my reaction. Y'all see. Oop. Y'all see them. Y'all see them. Y'all see them. Y'all. As much as people. They're, they're going to be called the, the Oregon Fives. No matter what, people are gonna still call them, even though they're like not because of like obviously it doesn't have the the logos and stuff. Colors a little different. I don't know. I don't have the Oregon, so I can't compare them. But personally, I like them. I really, I really, 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 really do like them. Um, the inside's dope, bro. Oh, it, yo, that's mad work to unlace these. I don't want to unlace them. That's a lot of work. But uh. 3M tongue. Oh, I thought this was black. This is exact, it's clear. It's just the, the behind it's black. Um, you got your clear soul. Basically, the Oregon Fives just released to the public. Personally, I love the fact that they're releasing PEs and switching up a couple things and releasing it to the public. That way, the public gets, you know, some like. I mean, I guess it, like some people don't like that, but I I, I like it. Like we wouldn't, I would have never got this shoe if they. I mean, like the the Oregon ones. I would have never got the PEs if you know six K for a shoe. Not a lot of people gonna do that, but I mean, 
a lot of people can't afford it. That's mad money, but I, I mess with these a lot. I, I like I like the fact that they released these PEs and just obviously switch up a couple things. It says elevate upside down the back of the tongue. That's that's they oh yeah they do do that. I thought it was only with the fours for a second. Um, I forgot they did it with fives. But uh, let me know what y'all think. Do y'all like this shoe? Do y'all like it? What do y'all think about um, Jordan Brand releasing PEs to the public? Just like making it a general release. Cause I love these. The Union Threes. I I mean the UNC Threes. I should have never sold those. I'm heated. I sold those. Um, the Oregon Sixes are supposed to drop to the public. I need those. If you don't know, Sixes are my favorite silhouette. I need those. So, um, them releasing, I, I said it like eight times already. Them, I, like, I like repeat myself, clearly. But um, I like them releasing it to the public. And uh, it's a good pickup right here. It's a good pickup right here. I just noticed right here there's a little glue stain in it. Ew. Whatever. I mean, so far, it's not bad. It's not sweet. I got like, ooh, look at that. Ooh, ooh. It's not suede like like these. It's not the same suede, but it's it's decent. You still got that color change, like this little new buck kind of. Yeah, I said like new buck. But uh. What do y'all think? What do y'all think? Personally, I think fives um, look way better when the material is new buck or suede because I hate, I don't hate, I mean, I don't hate, but I don't like the fact the the, the quality leather they use on like the grapes, the laneys, the, um, the alternate Bellier's. I like, I got rid of those. Like, if y'all seen that video, y'all already know I hated that shoe. I got rid of those. But uh, I when it comes to like suede on the fives and new buck, I like it way more than the uh, the leather on fives. But uh, I don't know. What do y'all think? What do y'all think? Do y'all like leather or the suede new buck feel? Um. Anyways. Let me know if y'all got y'all self pair. Let me know what y'all think about these. I was like, maybe I'll sell these, but nah, I'm keeping these. These are going to the to. These are going to the to. I like these a lot. Um, a lot, a lot. And yo, also random, random. Before before I let y'all go, my first pair of Jordans that I bought for myself. With a Raging Bull 5s. I think I mentioned that before. With a Raging Bull 5 pack. I got it from Foot Locker in July. Them things were released in March. I got them in July for my birthday. With my cousin's discount. I paid two ten for both pairs. For the whole pack. I paid two ten. I'm not I'm never forgetting that. Pack was three ten. I paid two ten. I got like a hundred dollars off, something like that. It was around two ten. I don't know the exact price. But uh those were my first fives. Always have a place in my heart for those fives, and when those Raging Bull fives re-release, I keep doing this little shoot, little shoot, little shoot. When those Raging fives re-release, I'm getting like three pairs just for myself. I need three pairs for myself, for myself. Um. Anyways, that's it for this video. Um, make sure you like, comment on the questions I was asking, subscribe, and uh, I'll catch y'all on the yo. I just realized one of the first videos I posted on this channel, I said this is not going to be a review channel, and that's basically all I've been doing. So, along with the other questions, um, like, along with if they should keep releasing PEs to the public, what if you like suede or new buck, I mean new buck or, or suede, new buck or leather, and... Along with those two questions, what do y'all like me? Do y'all like these reviews, or should I switch it up on how I uh, go about making these videos? Because I do have some other ideas, I just haven't done them. 
to be honest. Like online mystery boxes, get mystery boxes are her and feel uncomfortable getting regular mystery boxes. It's kind of hard right now. I don't have a Soul Supremacy membership and stuff. So, but uh, let me know what y'all think. Let me know who, what y'all think about the the these videos so far. And uh, I'll try and do something.